Hello viewers, welcome to the channel. Hello, FM Ben Play speaking. Mr. Mirko Barisic from Croatia, the Dynamo Zagreb owner. How can I help you today? You need my help. Okay. Um, you see me, my previous efforts with Brentford, and you want me to come and take on the team at Dynamo Zagreb? Sure, sure, sure. What's the plan? You want me to win Europe? Yes, that's what I said. Can I just get a clarification? You want me to win Europe? Yes, it's from India. You think that's possible? Yeah, I'm sure yes. we can do it. Yeah, that's yeah I'm definitely that's sure. <laughs> yeah, you've seen me, how close I got with Brentford. Yeah, we can do it again. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I did get runners up yeah, in the Europa yeah. League. Yeah, okay. No worries. No worries. Yeah, I'll see what we can do. I'll see what we can do. All right, I'll see you later then. Bye. 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 Sorry about that, viewers. Um, yeah, so we got the job at Dynamo Zagreb. Welcome to Croatia's Calling. Hello, viewers. Welcome to the channel and welcome to a new series. It is the start of Croatia's Calling. We've had the call from Mirko Barisic. You join us now as we've taken on the job after you've been offered it. And yeah, we'll see what we can do then. The top, obviously, at Europe is the plan. That's what we've been bought in for. Let's see if we can do that then. So you join us at the start, the new um, starting page for FM20. As you can see here, GNK Dynamo higher, um, but FM Ben plays. And we're only on 4.6 grand a week, which does baffle me. We're, a lot of our players are on more than that, but hey ho. We get on into this then. So Mirko Barisic, the guy we were on the phone to just a minute ago. I'd like to formally welcome you to Dynamo to get you acquainted with your new surroundings. You receive our introductory welcome pack before going on to finalise the vision and objectives. We're, we're to proceed together with. Congratulations and we wish you the best of luck. So you look at this here then. It's a really nice badge. Nice kit. I like the blue pinstripes. Also, one thing to note is I've been to Zagreb myself, and it is a beautiful city. Absolutely beautiful. Um, we look at the facilities then. Unfortunately, when I was out in Zagreb, I didn't get a chance to visit the, the Maximir. But it's the stadium that's been built in 1912, and it's a capacity of 30, 35,123. You look at the, when it was built, it was built just after it was founded. So we're definitely not going to be building a new stadium just trying to expand this one to the biggest that we can get it to. But yeah, so you look at you go on into this then. They used to formerly be known as HSK Grajanski Zagreb. Um, we start this then. We've just won the first league title and finished runners up in the Croatia Cup. So we'll be playing in the Super Cup. We'll be playing them. Yeah, well, media prediction we're supposed to finish first. Obviously, everyone knows Dynamo as the biggest club in Croatia, but that's not what we're here. For, not what we're here for. We're here to win some European trophies. As director of football is Marianne Vlak and our assistant manager is Nino Ball. Very much expect Nino Ball to be changed out, but hey ho. Let's quickly look at the um, the club history in terms of silverware. Then, so the Euro Cup they have won one in 1967. We got one left to get. Um, Croatia League. I mean, we dominate that. Let's be honest. Same with the Croatia Cup. And then obviously before it was Croatia, um, it was the Yugoslav First League. We won a few of them. Not all of them. Um, and same with the Yugoslav Cup. We won a few of them as well. Um, and the Croatia Super Cup, we've won many, many times. And hopefully, obviously, knowing we've got to play them next, we can get that 2019 on that um, board there. And then a Balkans Club Cup, obviously, we aren't going to be in that. But let's get on next into this then. You look at the suggested eleven. You've got Livakovic there. You've got Ademi, Pekovic, um, obviously Danny Olmo and Moro. So this probably will be our midfield. Um, Orsic, I'm not too sure because obviously those of you who know, I'm a massive fan of Antonio Marin. So he'll probably play there. And Orsic, we'll see what we can do. Um, might be that we move him on. I'm unsure yet. But we've got quite a few players out on loan um, with how many, what, one, two, three, four, five guys there in on loan um maybe it'll be that we bring look to maybe sign a few of them we'll just see how they look though so Mirko Barris is the outline of the board's vision for the future I'll be in touch shortly to discuss the finer details and to finalize our comp uh, competition objectives for the coming season so you look at the club culture play attacking football I mean if you're playing football manager and you want to play route one fair play but it's definitely not for me 
Um, developing players using the club's youth system, I definitely can do that. They have a very nice youth academy. There's quite a few young players that are coming through that I'm looking forward to getting my hands on. Um, in the same vein of that, it's, um, the five-year plan is maintain the best youth system in the country. Easy peasy. Um, maintain the club status as the most reputable team. And then Croatia, that would be easy. When we get a Croatian, uh, sorry, a European title under our belt, that will be nice and easy. Um, in terms of signings, then, we've only got to work within the wage budget, which is quite nice. So basically, I don't have any, um, I can basically sign anyone, providing that it's within the wage budget. So you look ahead, then to the end of the current season um the first league we've got to win it obviously with you if we want to be the most reputable team in croatia we've got to be winning both the trophies and it seems to be that for the next five years they just want me to keep winning the top title which is fine we can definitely do that um the croatia's cup then obviously we want to be winning that and you'll probably sit fine that it will carry on super cup isn't important but obviously a bit silver we want to be winning that and in terms of the champions league then they want us to reach a group stage at a minimum which i think we can do we definitely got a good base of a squad and then by the time i've bought in some players we can definitely be challenging up there so yeah and we only got a one-year contract but i mean we'll definitely get another one for sure for sure um uh, finally do not hesitate to let me know if you um would like any of the arrangements below to be made once again, I'd like to welcome you to Dynamo and everyone at the club hopes this is the beginning of a long and successful era. So do I, Mirko. So do I. We're going to take you boys right back to the top. Um, so arrangements then, Sergio. Yeah, I mean, it's a, we just got a new job. We should be doing a press conference. Um, arranging to squad friendly? No, we don't need to bother with that. And selling advice for the team report? Yes, sure. Um, so yeah, that is then the start of Croatia's call and we'll confirm that. So we, as you can see here then, FM Ben plays takes a dynamo hot seat and um, we're only 4.7k a week which is quite low really compared to some of our players are well above that um, we'll go through these emails then so Malaku I'm not gonna be using you not at all tactics induction I don't need to be doing um, do you know what? I'm very happy with this um, I'm just gonna accept that I don't feel any need to change any of it preseason preparation uh, we've got a few friendlies um, that are scheduled we'll get through them um, and see what we can get after that most recent Croatian transfers um, we've bought in Ivan Ivan Nusek um, a midfield option looks really good for 20 years old quite good on current ability and potential ability looking pretty decent as well so definitely someone who will be coming into the league into our team for sure um, obviously replacing Ivan Sanjic who realistically is probably the worst option I actually think the um, the other guy we've got is probably a better player to be honest with you but without further ado we shall go quickly into the club um, info we'll have a quick look at affiliates obviously everyone knows as a club locomotiva you can bring some players from there Bartol Barasic is supposed to be our hot prospect I mean he doesn't look bad does he um, obviously Danny Olmo is still here um, we will be trying to look to tie him down to a new deal we'll see what we can do um, in terms of facilities then we've already mentioned this um we've got some fair basic data analysts that we something i'll try and get my um get up really could do a bit of that affiliated clubs so we've got a few most of the clubs are in the um, croatian leagues apart from this uh bosnia and herzegovina side um and yeah we we've already mentioned um locomotiva um in terms of place we'll come back to them in a bit because um, we can have them move freely between the two players, move two teams. So it means we can sign their players for free, which is something I really like. Um, in terms then of team wise, we'll go to this. Obviously, Livakovic, um, Dominic Livakovic will be our starting goalkeeper for sure. Looks a really nice keeper. Um, it's a shame his um, his short distribution, like his passing and first touch, aren't a bit better. But over time, I'm pretty sure we can get that up to the level we need. Um, we've got some good centre-backs. Um, not many young centre-backs is what I immediately note. Um, same with left-back as well. So left-back is definitely someone we're looking to bring in. Um, we've uh, Petkovic, if we get a good offer for him, I may look to move him on. Orsic won't get much game time. It will be Marin. Marin will be starting out on that left-hand side. So it may be that I move Orsic on. Um, Gavranovic is definitely someone I've looked around, as I say, I've already looked around this side Gavranovic will be sold for sure I don't have any need for him at all um, same with Andrich as well, if I can get good offer for him I might sell him um, and this guy as well, he won't be played 
Um, should we actually quickly, before we go too far, let's quickly go into the development center. Um, I am still playing this on the beta at the moment, but I will be taking it over to the main the main um, squad, main game when I can do. So these guys here, uh, I can't bring them up to the first team. Um, these two plus you, you can all be brought up to the senior team. I do want them playing around the first team. Let's see what we've got in terms of good players. Um, Gira, I think we'll bring up to the um, to the first team as well. I do think he could be a bit. Um, he could be of use. He's got a bit of ability there already as a goalkeeper. Uh, sorry, that's not even him. <laughs> Mark Aguirre and this guy, um, left back can play as well as a deep line um, midfielder. Play ball in a Skunda Valente sort of area. Looks a good little player. Could play, could do quite well for us. Maybe he's a backup left back. Maybe we look to move on. Um, uh, Leovac and Francois. <laughs> <laughs> they will look to move them two on and bring in a new left back um, I've got my eyes on one we'll see if we can get him in um, I'll keep that hush hush for now and then next episode you can kind of have a look in um, so what we'll do then is we've already we also looked at this team we'll quickly go as we already mentioned about um, Locomotiva Castrati there we go straight away guy got some good potential looks quite good probably a player we will look to bring in um, there's a few other players in here for sure that we should be looking to bring in Obviously, Castrati being one. Um, the fact that Barnsley want this player. Maybe we'll look to bring in him. Um, there are quite a few young players in this side who we should be looking to bring in for sure. Like, if we look here, Hugeba, Huber, maybe him. Um, Azuni could be okay if we do sell Orsic. Could be a good backup option. I'm not too sure, though. We'll see about that. Um, I'll quickly go. We'll now go into the tactics area and we'll kind of see what sort of thing we're working on on that front. Um, so in terms of tactics I'm kind of thinking like a 4 2 4 0 um, playing strikerless um, the plan would be to use like a vertical tick attacker or maybe a vertical tick attacker we'll start with that a vertical tick attacker with um, sort of no it's not that it's close to this bring this one back here and this one back here have a shadow striker in attack um, and having these guys either as ram deuters or inside forwards on attack that's the plan have these boys getting further forward one of these sitting deep as well as one of these pushing forward into that box to box role this is the sort of formation I'm looking for um, maybe doing that though instead um, so as you already mentioned Livakovic will be the starting keeper playing in that sweeper keeper role um, for now Danny Olmo will be going into that shadow striker role. I think he suits that role quite well. If you look at his stats, okay, yeah, he's not the tallest, but he's got some good off-the-ball stats. Um, good first touch, good dribbling. Like, you look at it here, he's got a good, well, a fairly decent finishing stat. I think he'll be quite good. If he can get his pace up a bit more, he'll be really good in that role. Um, inside forward on this left side, obviously it's going to be Marin. Let's let's be serious here. Marin's going to be the... Ma oh, bollocks. Marin is going to be the one who goes out there. Um we have already mentioned Nicola Mora is probably going to play as that box to box probably our, one of our brightest midfield um, sparks for sure um, three current ability and then five um, potential ability um, in terms of other centre mids we've got Ademi the captain he will definitely be starting in that ball winning midfield role um, and just basically trying to break things up um, the other guy other cam we've got is Lovren Meyer who probably I'm going to put in that um, AP role on support he's got some good vision good passing good technique I think can really do well to feed our um, forward line for sure. Um, and out on this right side, currently I don't really have anyone there. That's the, um, I mean we could put Hirovic out there for now, um, but he's not really the kind of guy I'm looking for. He's a bit slow, there's some things to be lacking there for sure. On this right hand side then, um, Stojanovic will definitely be the man we put out there. He looks like a pretty decent um, right back for sure. In terms of centre backs then, um, probably looking at Deleva and um, Catherine, um, Theophil Catherine. They're probably my two centre back partnership. The left back, as I already mentioned, someone we are going to look to move and um, bring in. We can put Francois in there for now. This is kind of the thing we're going to go for. Um, probably play quite positively. Um, the plan is then to be quite wide, um, but also then coming into the centre, having these boys run in. That's the plan. 
um, with overlaps on the right and left playing a bit more high tempo short pass maybe a bit more and uh, work it into the box distribute to center back I'm quite happy with that only thing I yeah I was gonna say I don't want my pressing to be too much we're gonna lift this line up a bit more though because obviously with no striker we need them pushing up um, to make sure that we're not going to be overrun in the forward areas pressing intensity or more urgent I think that's something we'll be doing um, yeah I think this is the kind of tactic we will be going for to just deploy at the start um, we'll see what kind of things happen if it doesn't work then we can always change it up we've got loads of room to maneuver with this squad um, and there's players I have got uh, I have space to move on with um, already mentioned Leo Vac the two left backs um, as well as Gavranovic possibly Andrich and Pekovic the this Nigerian attacking left midfielder just simply not good enough Orsic potentially as well I, he's good but for the money I could potentially get for him I could get some really good players that's that's the thing I'm thinking about um, we've, obviously we've got um, the squad over at um, Lokomotiva will go through pick out the best ones and put them straight in our squad um, we'll quickly go look at the staff then this is something that makes me very happy the fact that there's not many staff here as it is um, means that I can definitely get a really good recruitment team in um, some really good scouts um, build a good scouting network and um, good coaching staff that we can go and build um, basically spend a good couple of hours a good hour or two going through these staff making sure we have the best players available to us uh, sorry best staff available to us and hopefully go and get go and get ourselves into this and hopefully we can go and work the best to our abilities um, we'll go through I'll go through this off um, off camera I'll go and make sure we can get the best out of our board but yeah in terms obviously we've already mentioned um, Castrati is going to be someone that we're going to look at in terms of left back um, one guy who I really like the look of is Borna Sosa obviously he's already he only recently left for Stuttgart was a Dynamo player for a long time been at Stuttgart for two years now um, well one year actually um, signed for them for 5.25 million we'll see how much we can bring him in for we've got some nice pace nice composure nice teamwork okay vision good passing tackling could do with some work that's for sure um, and dribbling and crossing crossing's really good dribbling could do with a bit more we'll see um, what we can bring in on that front so thank you very much for joining today's video it is greatly appreciated for your support and um, if you have enjoyed this please like and subscribe down below um, we will I will join you next time then our first competitive game where we go through the transfers we have bought in so far hopefully we've bought in some good gems um, if you want to join in also in a great um, community we've got growing over on Twitch um, my Twitch link is twitch.tv forward slash fmbenplays and that will be down in the description for you guys to come and join in um, as I say any support on either um, YouTube or Twitch is greatly received and I very much look forward to taking Dynamo Zagreb to the top with you guys. Thank you very much, and I shall see you next time.